Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 5th of exercise 9.1 and the question says a kite is flying at a height of 60 meter above the ground the string attached to the kite is temporarily tied to a point on the ground the inclination of the string with the ground is 60 degrees you have to find the length of the string Assuming that there is no slack in the string. Okay, now again we know that this is the question based on trigonometry and trigonometry. For trigonometry, we have to form a right angle triangle. We must know the trigonometric ratios, and with the help of these two things, we can solve any question of height and distance. Now it is given that a kite is flying at a height of 60 meter above the ground means this is the kite and the height of this kite from the ground is 60 meter and a string is attached to this kite and it is temporarily tied with the ground and this string is inclined at a uh, at 60 degree this means this its string is making an angle of 60 degrees with this ground now this is a string to which this kite is tied and this is 60 meter above this ground so obviously this distance is perpendicular here and you have to find the length of this string when there is no slack in the string means this is we are assuming that this string is straight not bending like this so here again perpendicular is given to you which is the side opposite to this theta and you need to find this hypotenuse and for that perpendicular and hypotenuse is the ratio we know it comes in sine theta and sin theta is known as perpendicular upon hypotenuse here the theta is given to you as 60 degrees perpendicular is given to you as 60 and the hypotenuse we can assume as x centimeter x meter sorry this is meters this uh, this length is in meters so we it is better to assume x also in meters and the value of sin 60 is root 3 by 2 is equal to 60 upon x now if I cross multiply these values this will give x root 3 when multiplied by x and this will give 120 now because we have to find the value of x so for that I have to shift this under root in the denominator so the value of x which is the length of the string must be equal to 120 upon root 3 meters now if you have to further solve this expression because there is an under root in the denominator you have to rationalize this and for that you have to multiply this with the numerator as well as with the denominator because if I cancel this value the expression will be same as previous one which is 120 upon 3 so this won't make any difference in this expression so uh, that is why you have to multiply as well as with uh, you have to divide this so that we cancel this out and there will be no uh, there will be no effect on this expression now this 120 multiplied by root 3 will give 120 root 3 and 23 multiplied by root 3 will give us 3 this is because when root a is multiplied by root a this will give we can write this as root a uh, and this is basically a square and we know that whenever the square and root is there it will cancel it out and a will be the answer or you can say we know that whenever their pair is of 2 one value is can be taken out from the under root so that is why root 3 root 3 multiplied will give 3 now this can be multiplied uh, sorry divided and the answer will be 40 root 3 so this will be the value here of this 
string. The length of string will be 40 root 3. If you want to find the answer in decimals, what we have to do is, you have to multiply this 40 by root 3 and the value of root 3 is 1.73. This is 40 multiplied by 1.73 upon 100. And when you solve this, 0 can be cancelled with 0. 4 into 3 is 12. And this will be, there is a 0 in the denominator, so I can place 1 decimal. So the value of, uh, the length of this string must be equal to 69.2 meters. So this is how you can solve this fifth question. I hope you have understood how to solve this question. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any problem in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.